Okay, I'd like to thank everyone for sticking around here. I know it's getting close to lunchtime. I'm extremely excited to be here. We're thankful for the organizers to give us this opportunity at the last minute. And I get the chance to introduce to you a company you probably haven't heard of, Happy Spine. And our technology is the world's first fully porous and bioactive peak inner body fusion cage. Our technology is in our name, hydroxyapatite porous peak. As we've heard at this meeting, it's an exciting time in spine surgery because there are so many new uh, implant technologies that are available to you in addition to the you know, long established allograft and peak. You know all of these, uh, 3D printed titanium, titanium coated peak, HA enhanced peak, and surface uh, coated peak, or surface porous peak, excuse me. Uh, however, all of these options that are available to you now can also cause a lot of very difficult decisions because as we've heard, each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Allograft is obviously bone-like, but can be weak or brittle and difficult to source. Uh, Peak offers, offers radiolucency, but does not allow for bone on-growth or in-growth. 3D printed titanium now enables the design of porous architectures for bone in-growth, but can suffer from brittle uh, fractures in some cases and difficulty in post-op imaging. Titanium coated peak and HA enhanced peak promote bone on-growth, but do not allow bone in-growth. And surface porous peak enables the in-growth uh, at the end plates, but not in the graft space, and still suffers from the fibrous encapsulation that's endemic to peak. So wouldn't it be nice if there were one implant technology that could offer all of these advantages that are currently only in the different technologies? If you agree with me, I think I bring you good news today. Don't worry, be happy. My name is Ryan Rader. I'm a professor actually at the University of Notre Dame. Uh, by way of disclosure, I'm a board member of Happy Spine and the primary inventor of our technology. Uh, Happy Spine is a, a spin-out uh, from the Genesis Innovation Group. Our implant, te implant technology is wholly owned uh, by Happy, but originated actually in my lab more than a decade ago at the University of Notre Dame. At that time, uh, we were told that our technology was going to be too expensive, too difficult to make, and nobody would want it. However, recent developments in the market that you're all aware of uh, I believe has set the, have set, set the stage for what we have to offer. As you know, Invibio developed HA Enhanced Peak, which has been shown to mitigate fibrous encapsulation and promote er earlier bone on growth compared with Peak alone, notably in this uh, histology shown by Bill Walsh and his group in Sydney. Vertera developed Surface Porous Peak, uh, which has been acquired by Nuvasive and has been shown to enable greater in vivo implant fixation compared with Peak and titanium peak, as shown in the study by Torstrick. We offer both the bioactivity of hydroxyapatite for bone on growth and porosity for bone in growth. Our porosity is not limited to the end plates, but is through the entire implant thickness and in the graft space where it will be most beneficial. So if you'll forgive me at this uh, late hour in the morning for using a food analogy, uh, if HA enhanced peak is like peanut butter and surface porous peak is like chocolate, you know where I'm going. We offer you the peanut butter cup that you're craving right now because I'm keeping you from lunch. So with that, I should describe our technology in more technical detail. Our current prototypes have a patented dual density design with dense HA peak for load bearing and porous HA peak for osteo integration. Importantly, our implant design and hydrophilic material allows for wicking of blood through the entire implant height with our obligatory wicking video here. And afterwards, you can more clearly see the porous and dense architecture in the implant. Our proprietary manufacturing process allows for seamless integration between the dense and porous materials. There are no interfaces, there is no bonding. In other words, there are no places for material failure to occur. Our process is also adaptable to produce multiple regions of uh, different density, different size, and implant design. Importantly, unlike allograft and some 3D printed titanium cages, our implants will not fracture or fragment upon an extreme overload, as I'm showing here in this video. In this case, we go to a 50% reduction in height without any fracture of the implant. And the reason for this is because our materials, both the dense and porous materials, have mechanical properties similar to those of bone. In this graph here, you can see that our porous material has elastic modules comparable to that of cellulose bone, or dense material has elastic modules comparable to that of cortical bone. In contrast, peak and porous titanium have a greater stiffness than, than cellulose bone. 
course, the key for bone ingrowth is a design porosity. And as you can see, our porous material looks like Encellus bone. It has approximately 75% porosity with spherical pores that are about 200 to 500 microns in diameter. And they are greater than 99% connected. You can see the interconnections at the bottom of, of those pores in the image. Thus, our material, we believe, is ideal for bone ingrowth. I'm also compelled to note that our spherical pore morphology is superior to the cubic pore morphology that's used in, in surface pore speed. Here I show measurements of fluid permeability, which is a good indicator of bone ingrowth performance. The spherical pore agent that we use resulted in an in increase of an order of magnitude at the low porosity levels there, 75 and 80 percent, compared to that of a cubic pore agent. For the third and final aspect of our technology, we need to zoom in to the micro and nano scale. Our implants have bioactive hydroxyapatite whiskers, which are both embedded in the peak for mechanical reinforcement and exposed on both machined and interior pore surfaces to provide bioactivity and a microtopography that will promote osteointegration. Our hydroxyapatite whiskers provide osteogenic signals to bone forming cells by binding proteins. That's a customer right there. <laughs> To, uh, so by binding proteins that will provide the osteogenic signals at the surface at the nanoscale. This is another distinct advantage uh, from existing implants in the market which use HA powders. A whisker or fiber morphology provides better mechanical properties and better surface exposure compared to a powder morphology, which as shown in the high magnification images on this slide, more prone to pull out of the surface and then not be present for bioactivity. So in summary, HA Porous Peak is the only material able to meet all the desired criteria to make you and your patients happy. Happy Spine offers the radiolucence of peak, the designed porosity of 3D porous titanium, the bioactivity of hydroxyapatite, and bone-like mechanical properties. No other implant in the market can meet all of these criteria. So I thank you for your attention and we welcome you to visit with us at our table. Very nice presentation.